Hello everyone. Hello Shirley. This video will be a documentary of uh, two uh, name seal carving uh, for Shirley Poo. Uh, Master Poo uh, or Shirley Poo Wells is a well known Chinese brush painting Osumi artist in Hawaii. Um, she was born in Japan and uh, educated uh, in both. Uh, Japan and the uh, U.S. Um, and uh, of course, uh, she has a Chinese heritage, so uh, she speaks perfect Chinese. Um, her painting is uh, a fusion of uh, both Western and Eastern Japanese and Chinese. Uh, he's ve she's very talented, very established, well-established artist in the United States. Um, this seal, as you can see here, is very uh, big. We'll be using this uh, large stone and carve on both sides of the uh, this stone, on the on this uh, square side and also the rectangular side, because uh, Shirley just got a commission to do large mirrors in the symphony tower in Honolulu, and uh, this is. Uh, going to be used on the mural. It's a very large, like uh, 90 inches by 50 or something like that. Um, 12 or 13 panels. Um, so congratulations, Shirley, for this uh, uh, very exciting project. And I'm honored to be part of that. OK, so we're going to carve this seal. And I have transferred uh, this two design onto the stone. As you can see, one is uh, in square, um, and one is uh, rect rectangular. Uh, both says "pu uh, xue lei." Xue is uh, snow, lei is but. Pu is uh, the Chinese family name. Pu xue lei uh, in seal. And this says the same. Pu xue lei. Pu xue lei in. Okay, <coughs> and we're going to do this uh, rectangular one first. This design combines uh, both yin and yang because the uh, family name Pu only have two strokes. Um, so I use yang style and uh, the other is yin style to give it uh, balance. She likes the archaic uh, antiquarian is an uh, in seal engraving art, so I make it look very old and chipped. Also, I have combined some fork element or uh, pictograph designs in this. So this is like a little pictures. I have to consider the other seal.
Okay, I'm going to work on the other side. The two seals. Before uh, we do the testing imp imprints, I will finish all so we don't got to messy with the, the ink. This seal is a rectangular, I mean a square instead of a rectangular. This is the, the finish the effect we try to achieve. This is the mirror image. Sometimes the, the ink imprint I got on the stone creates some uh, unexpected smearing or uh, natural effect, I say. So I just take that as a, a inspiration to work with. All right, thanks for your patience. I'm going to do a test imprint for um, this cell first, the square one. Then we'll do the rectangular one.
Okay, I think it's perfect. This is on the side. Let me to use this. This is a refill wrap. I saved it uh, after refilled one of the client's uh, box. It's a antique, antique uh, deep color. This seal is very big, probably uh, as the, the largest seal I ever carved. Okay, that looks great. Shirley has bought a large 80 gram uh, seal paste uh, box with a seal uh, paste. So that was accommodate this size pretty well. And besides, you can make this the paste raised with a stir, so you will have a, a ball, a dome shape for this uh, purpose. I think this is uh, finished. I'm going to make a clean copy. I'll make this uh, rectangular one first. A little bit messy with the, the both the seal paste and the, the structure of this seal, but uh, you only need to do, you know, when the um, you can drop this maybe with a paper towel like that. Do the do a customer copy.
Okay. Now I'm going to do this uh, <coughs> square one. So that's the final touch of this uh, program and uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video and uh, thank uh, Sherry for your trust in my artistry of the seal engraving art. I hope you have a great time, creative uh, time at uh, the Symphony Tower and uh, Looking forward to see the seal on your masterpieces. Thanks for watching everybody on YouTube. See you next. Goodbye.